Hey guys, Natalia used to be one of the most feared assassins in the game. I remember that I used to play against her so much that I cannot develop an instinct to know where she could possibly be at all time. And actually struggling against her helped me increase my map awareness by quite a lot. That's why if you're facing something difficult, you think of it as an important experience you have to overcome in order to go to the next level. Anyway, after all that nerf and adjustment Natalia got, she is not as popular as she used to be and not as scary anymore. Now the question is, is she still a solid pick? That's what I wanted to find out. I want to clear the wave as quickly as possible so then I can help our Hylos invade their jungle. One life. But he took a lot of damage from Alpha's true damage. The only thing I can do here is try to slow them down and hopefully that will give Hylos a chance to survive. If I was Hylos here, I know I won't be able to outrun Belleric after he used his first skill which increases his movement speed. I will wait in the bush and then try to juke him by going down and then take the cyclone thingy. First blood. Force. Unfortunately, I will be losing all my minion wave here because our tank is clearing it. As the tank, you should never want to take those gold experience from your teammates. That's the reason why they implemented the roaming mechanic. In this match, I was hoping to get a direct hit roaming effect, which will help tremendously to one shot most of them. The idea that I will still get the full experience and gold from the wave since I am playing the mage slash mid role. And once I am done clearing the wave, I will rotate to gain as many assists as quickly as possible and unlock the direct hit effect. Unfortunately, it didn't work out in this match, but I think we are a more coordinated team. This strategy will be quite deadly. Natalia is one of those assassins that is very item dependable. At this point of the game, I cannot kill them that easily. Unfortunately, Vel inherited the defective Sharingan eyes. But to his credit, he will have been a pretty slick play if he managed to predict I was still in that bush. His skills are all in cooldown, 
and he still has the ball to pursue Natalia. So you have chosen death. Bell is still in the bottom lane. This has to be an extremely quick kill, or he will blast me to death. Become an assassin. Nothing is true. What's the truth? Mega kill! An ally has been slain. Hello there. If nothing is true. Killing free. Nothing is true. Shut down. Well, I guess that was still worth it. Truly wise man will not tell you the truth. An ally has been slain. Launch attack! This should be an easy double kill. Our recycler is super fed already. I was actually quite confused here, wondering why I still don't see my partner. At this point of the game, Bell shouldn't be wandering alone, especially when there's a Natalia roaming around. He should just stick to the tank and he will do so much better. I see that he got tired of being Natalia's food. He probably picked Aldos because he thinks it's a good counter for Natalia. But he forgot that her second skill makes her immune to basic attack, aka his first skill. But honestly, I feel like the current Natalia doesn't deal as much damage as before. I should try using a different build and spell, 
Maybe next time I could try with more crit items and dispel inspire instead. Well, I'm 100% dead. Might as well try my best to not go down alone. Let's slow him down. I will need to play her a few more times and experiment with different builds to see which ones suit her the most. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing.